Hello again, Almond Branch family. Um, just wanted to do another short video on behalf of the elder team, just to, to keep in touch with you and uh, just to give you some words of encouragement along the way. Um, I have a scripture that I want to read. And uh, it's a very beautiful and encouraging scripture that I've been reading almost every day, especially as you know we face all these challenging times that we've been in. It's in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28 through 30. Are you weary carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me. I will refresh your life for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine, learn my ways, and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, easy to please. You will find refreshment and rest in me, for all that I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. And I just found that scripture so encouraging because there are many times when, when things can happen and they don't feel easy to bear. And understanding the nature of God's grace and mercy and love towards us and, and what that can mean for us in those different situations. I have something else I want to read to you here that has to do with that about those times when it feels like we, we can't bear it, that it's too much. And um, I find that there's always encouragement even in those times to be found. And so I want to read you, this is actually uh, something I had written in my journal a while back. And uh, I want to read you what I wrote because I've been rereading it again. And it, it's like fresh encouragement each time I, I read these things. Um, and I even encourage you, if you've written things down in the past that you found encouraging scriptures or things you've heard from the Lord or lessons you've learned, Go back and reread them because it just stirs up that hope in you once again by rereading that and remembering those things. So let me just read you this. I titled this Learn to Love Fireflies. It was a Sunday evening, five days after the transplant surgery. Don was not home from the hospital yet and we expected he wouldn't be until Tuesday. I was sitting on the front porch watching my son and his family as they just simply enjoyed the dusk of the day. My two grandsons, aged two years and five years, were running around the grass trying to catch the fireflies that kept teasing and eluding them. The older boy, Oliver, finally captured one and brought it up to me and he said, Here, Grammy, hold it. I immediately replied, Absolutely not. I hate bugs of any kind and I hate them crawling on me. He spent a minute or so trying to convince me, and I continued to vehemently refuse. Then he said to me, Grammy, Grammy, you just need to snap out of it and learn to love fireflies. It is true, out of the mouths of babes come great wisdom and insight. I knew the Lord was speaking to me in that moment. There are many times in our lives when we can choose to experience something or not. Usually our decision is based on our comfort level with said experience. Most of us like to stick to what we know or feel some sense of safety, normal. However, it can happen that we are presented with an opportunity to experience something like a firefly crawling on your skin that we immediately categorize as unpleasant. We say no thank you and move on. I know that as much of an adventurous type I am, there are plenty of things I have said no to. When Oliver said that to me, I wondered how many of those things, if I had let go of my predetermined notions, would end up being an experience to remember. Nothing can compare to the look of absolute wonderment on Oliver's face when he was enduring the bug crawling on him, only to see it light up magically. That was the moment right there, the moment of indescribable excitement and wonder, a child's heart. 
that scripture that talks about momentary light affliction came to mind. And I wondered how many incredible moments I had missed because I didn't want to endure momentary light affliction, like a bug crawling on me. I think often that we realize we have the opportunity to open ourselves up to a new things and experience something fantastic. It's God's way of saying, hey, look over here. I want you to see some. It may not seem important or significant at the time, or it may even seem scary or uncomfortable. But if we enter into that, trusting and knowing he has only good things for us in every situation, we can cross that self-imposed line of experience. The firefly is a symbol to me of all the annoyances, uncomfortable moments that happen in life where there is probably at the end. Like when I went to get my blood drawn, I have very small veins and it always takes two to three sticks before they find one that works. Not pleasant, like a bug crawling on me. But today was different. I don't know if the young woman who worked on me was Pakistani or Indian. Her name was Janai. She told me, I believe in the God, but my husband does not. We prayed together for the vein and she got it on the second try. I looked at her and said, I can tell you believe in the God because I can see him on your face. She lit up. Firefly. The wonder of a union of hearts was right there. And then she was done drawing the blood. Momentary light affliction ending up with a moment of wonder. The next time I'm watching Oliver catch fly fireflies and he comes to me with one, I'm going to say to myself, snap out of it, Grammy, and learn to love fireflies. I still remember the look on that woman's face and how she lit up. Because the love of God and our union as one were real in that moment. And just as the scripture says, the Lord is humble and gentle and easy to please. He's our oasis. And everything that he requires of us is easy to bear. And being stuck so many times with needles and all the blood work I had to have done during that time of the transplant became easy to bear in that one moment of seeing that woman's face light up just like a firefly. So I want to encourage everyone, look for those moments and even the difficult things. I promise you they're there. They're there. They're always there. Don't limit yourself in what you can experience based on circumstances, but see things through the eyes of the Lord and see what he sees because you have that ability. I love you guys so much. And I look forward to the day when we're going to be able to be together in the same room very soon, very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday evening.